Tackling COVID-19 on top of the existing humanitarian emergency requires urgent action. The pandemic is making it even more difficult and dangerous for humanitarian workers to reach Yemenis with life-saving aid. We must preserve the major humanitarian aid operation that is already underway, the world's largest, while developing new public health programs to fight the virus and strengthen healthcare systems. We have already made a start, supporting rapid response teams across the country, procuring essential supplies, and working with frontline health workers and communities to get information out to millions of people. But we need to do much more. This requires increased funding. So far this year, that has not been forthcoming. We have never had so little money for aid operations in Yemen this late in the year. Aid agencies estimate that they will lead up to 2.41 billion US dollars to cover essential aid from June until December, including programs to counter COVID-19. Unless we secure significant funding, more than 30 out of 41 major United Nations programs in Yemen will close in the next few weeks. I thank those donors who pledged funding ahead of today's event, and I urge all of you to pledge generously today and to transfer pledges and to transfer pledged resources quickly. There is no time to lose. Four people out of every five, 24 million people in all, need life-saving aid in what remains the world's largest humanitarian crisis. Two million Yemeni children are suffering from acute malnutrition, which could stunt their growth and affect them throughout their lives. Since the start of the year, some 80,000 more people have forced, were forced from their homes, bringing the total displaced to almost 4 million. Cholera continues to threaten lives, with 110,000 people contracting it so far this year. The recent floods have raised the risk of malaria and dengue fever. 